welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very happy and excited because we are doing my favourite thing to do, a thrift flip and we're using some iron-on patches today that I got off Etsy and they are so so cute. So what we're going to be doing is just a little thrift flip with some crop t-shirts that I've got. Um, I cropped these in a recent video. I picked them up from a thrift store for like less than a dollar. They were very inexpensive. I've cropped these t-shirts and now we are going to be putting on some iron-on patches. If you are anything like me, then you absolutely love thrifting and everything thrifting related like thrift hauls and thrift flips. So if that is the case, then be sure to subscribe because I will have more content on this in the future. And if you want to see what I do with these pieces and how I style them, then you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it on the screen here. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. Starting off with what you're going to need for today's video, we are going to need obviously some tops we want to upcycle or thrift flip. Um, I just picked up these tops, like I said, from a thrift store and then we're going to need some iron-on patches. You can use anything you like. Um, I'm using these cute little patches today. And then obviously you're going to need an iron because they are iron-on patches. But starting off with this basic little pink crop, what I'm going to do is just iron on a cute little butterfly onto that one. So it's a very simple process. All you need to do is just lay out your t-shirt nice and flat. Pop your patch on, pop your baking paper over it and then you're just going to iron over it for about 30 seconds until that has adhered to the fabric. And then what I like to do is just flip it inside out and iron the back of the patch and just make sure that has really secured to the fabric and we're not going to have anything coming off. And it is really that easy. So that is my final result with a little pink crop top. Um, next I'm using a top that I bleached tie dyed myself. So this one is a cute little blue top. And again, I'm going to put another little butterfly patch onto this one. Very, very cute. Again, just pop your baking paper over, iron for 30 seconds, make sure you iron it on the inside as well, and voila, you have a cute little butterfly crop top. So then I just repeated those same steps with this cute little black top. This is a little collared top and I just put some little cherries on it and I think that looks super, super cute. And lastly, we're just doing a top that I bleached tie-dyed myself. I thought this would look really, really cute with a flamingo on it. So I'm just ironing that one on and that's how it turned out. These tops have become really, really popular just with like the little um, butterflies. I've been seeing them everywhere. They're very Y2K, very fashionable, very in at the moment. And this is how you can do it at home for like a lot less than what they're selling them for. So that's it guys, that's really how easy it is just to create these little crop tops. I think adding the little detail just makes them look a lot cooler. It's very in trend at the moment. I have been seeing these little butterfly crop tops absolutely everywhere. And this is just how you can make them at home for a lot, lot less. It's very inexpensive. Patches are usually about like $3 each and then I picked up most of these tops for about $2. Well guys, that's basically it from me. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up because it really supports me and my channel. And of course, if you want to see more content like this and more thrift flips, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.